Uh, hi, Heather. Um, I've been playing around with the speech analysis app, and I think I have a better idea of what the confusion that I was having last time was, is. Uh, I'm going to try to record some things for you, and hopefully I can explain what I think is happening, and you can tell me what you think, maybe? Okay, um, so there's a noise. Yep, noisy noise. Um, okay, so that's what the noise looks like. Okay, so there it is. Um, pause. So I'm able to manipulate F2 pretty well um, with the, or how do you pronounce it, oropharyngeal closure, soft palate manipulation. I seem to have pretty good conscious control over that, but what ends up happening is that some of the muscles that are associated with F2 also raise F1, um, and I seem to have less conscious control over F1, or, or it's linked. I can't, I can't manipulate them independently, which I think I need to be able to do. I would like to be able to do. Um, let me try to manipulate them independently or show you the tracking of it again. Um, Okay, I don't want to bore you. Um, I actually had better control over them independently that time than any of the other times I've tried, so I guess practice makes perfect, right? But like, there definitely is a linkage. Um, like, can't quite manage to raise F2 without raising F1, and like, kind of vice versa, um, which I guess was why I was having those pitch confusion problems where I couldn't do the one thing without also raising my pitch. Um, yeah, and I'd like to have them independent so that I can keep a lower pitch, blah, 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 that story. Um, yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on this so far. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think, or if you have any suggestions for, like, things to try to get those muscles more segregated, separated consciously. That would be cool. Okay, thank you.